Hello everyone, we are back and we're ready to do it all over again. Yeah, hello everyone, welcome to episode 12 of the Eyes Test the Rayo Valicano series with me, Ringo FM. Uh, you may see in the top corner there, we've gone all the way through to the 3rd of Feb. I thought we'd do a bit less um, of like the transfer stuff and the background stuff because I think I had a few episodes of that now. And I thought we'd just go straight in play a few more games, uh, maybe live com one or two matches, and just sort of show you a little quickly what's been going on. Um, is it another re relegation battle? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. We're on 25 points, Levante on 18. We have recently just beaten them in the league. We did have a very strong start, but it seems tailing off a lot of draws in there. I think even if we turn two more of those draws into wins, you know, we'd be up in like ninth to 10th position. So it's okay it's okay it's not amazing but it's okay and the schedule will show that for you all as well uh, the last time we left off was in this absolute ding dong battle the 5-4 game where hugo uranga sent me into absolute euphoria late on in the game uh, i think i actually said at one point in that game i don't think we've got enough about us to get back into it but we did um and, and it's, it's been a bit indifferent since then you know i lost to Villarreal, and um, a draw with osasuna which was very frustrating we did take the lead with two early goals and then threw it away valencia again early goal threw it away severe our oh, mate i really wish i was live coming this game i need to show you this goal so i was actually uh, in an xbox party with my brother uh, just chatting away we tend to do it quite often um, and just playing some games in the background <laughs> and uh, Mario More had come on in the I believe the 47th minute um, may look at this for the goal He he's just incredible so he basically wins the ball back quite high and just watch wins it back and bang <laughs> Um, what a player. Now, if you actually take a look at Mario More, he's still only 17 years of age. He's played 22 matches for us now, scoring two goals, that goal being one of them. Uh, is natural, either behind the striker or out on the left wing. Tries killer balls often, tries first-time shots. We are trying to get the vision and the work rate up, you know, a couple of different things. And to be a bit of like a, a playmaking winger, um, but he's quickly forcing his way into being somewhat of like a He's definitely a squad player, uh, as such. We, we did get him a, a contract with a nice £80 million release clause. He's definitely some, like, the realms of a squad player, um, but, mate, he's fantastic. Um, the eagle-eyed among you will have noticed that Jan Paul Den Hecker has gone on loan to Sevilla from Borussia Dortmund, which, if I had the option of bringing him back on loan, I would have done. Um, I didn't know I had it quite at the time, but I feel like his replacement in the squad, uh, Felipe, has actually done quite well. 6.79 average rate and not amazing, but nothing too, um, nothing too bad. He did score a goal, one goal being a very, very vital goal against Real Madrid. Once again, I've not live come a Real Madrid game and we get a result. So this was it, this was the Real Madrid game. You can see we did pick up a couple of injuries and we didn't really play very well. Um, but Felipe popped up off a corner to equalise uh, in the home game after Michael Elise had put them 1-0 up. And I thought that was going to kickstart us off onto something. It kind of did. I mean, the Bill Bilbao game was another one of those games where it was very even. We come, we, you know, we tried to come out a little bit more and, and we ended up getting battered. Um, game against Granada, we absolutely tore them apart. Elche and the Copa del Rey, we did well. Getafe, we always seem to beat Getafe now. Gustavo Puerta popping up with the goal there. And then again, a bit of a poor run. Um, you know, again, Almeria, we, we, we equalised quite quickly. Lose it fairly late on. The Tenerife game was just awful. The sending off absolutely crippled us. Lose it late on. Levante, we go and batter them 3-0. Great performance. Girona, we lose it late on. So it, it, it's one of them, again, I'm, I'm still quite happy with the tactics, but I'm thinking of changing up slightly. Because you can see there's a lot of, a lot of the... the you know, basically saying there's, there's some poor partnerships in there. I'm still not entirely on board with that. I think that Puerta and Jota do play quite well. I just think the way we're playing it is basically leading us to conceding silly goals. And we do have some new players in the club. We do have some new players in the squad. We've had a few players going out. Uh, one of them being Miguel Rodriguez, who's coming from Celta Vigo. Quite a hefty fee, if I'm honest with you. Six and a half million pounds. 
Um, he can play naturally across the front line. He's got quite a bit of what we like. You know, he's, he, bear in mind he's only 22. Um, a lot of 14s that could easily turn into 15s. His composure is very good. His decisions are good. Anticipation, acceleration, agility. I really like him. He's quite quick. He could be a little bit quicker for me, um, but it is what it is. I like that he can play across all three you know, sort of forward areas and can play a little bit deeper if need be. He does give us a lot of cover. We also finally have a striker which we can call our own. We signed Adrian Butzka uh, from Gimaraes over in Portugal, the former Granada player. Only made one appearance in Spain, but he's homegrown. He fulfills the quota. He's a big lad, jump and reach 16, acceleration 13. He's quite agile, got good balance. He's strong, he's quick, he's composed, he's got great anticipation, good decisions, good determination. You can see, you know, six for four. You can see why we signed him. Um, please one twos. He's a very good finisher, but he's got very good composure. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I want to work it with him because he's only sort of played the one game off the bench. So I didn't get a chance to sort of analyze or do my eyes test on how I want him to be. You think of someone like Yakubu who just tries to finesse every shot and he can't do it. I feel like Butzka probably could. I'll probably still tell him to smash the ball as often as I can. But um, yeah, I'm glad to get it over the line. He's actually ours. He's 26 years of age. He's kind of in his prime. Um, it gives us a chance to focus on, on building the squad elsewhere rather than worrying about trying to sign loan players to cover up front. And we also brought in this guy from uh, BFC Dynamo who were playing in like the fourth tier in Germany and you're probably all looking at it saying why um I didn't want to burn Uranga out he does play an awful lot for us Uranga and I want to cover someone who could do a Metzala or a centre midfield role um, and again we just did the eyes test he, he came in very very cheap 55k from uh, Dynamo you look at it um go back to him he's got a great name but a great name great name McMordy King Hooter um jump from each 14 Acceleration Agility 14, Natural Fitness of 15, a Pace of 14, Aggression Anticipation 15 and 14, Good Decisions, Good Determination, Flair, Leadership and Off the Ball, Vision, Long Shots, Dribbling, all these like 10s. The way I, I like looking at it and the way I do the eyes test is like, if he's got like decent mental stats, attributes and physical attributes then these are basically 50 50 like i'm thinking if he takes a long shot you know it's not necessarily going to be 50 50 but you've got a good chance that it's going to go wide you've also got a good chance that it's going to go on target but i actually quite like him you know i mean look, he's played two games off the bench and done a 6.85 he's made a massive jump from the division he was in it's not even a playable league and um, but he's made a massive jump he's six foot two he can play in a couple of different positions has played center back in the past which <clears throat> let's be honest he's not going to play center back for us but again a player in his prime i thought 55k is worth the punt if not we can shift them and we did also start planning for the future ahead. We brought in Simon Horn, the Romanian from Auxerre. He is also part French, but he, he is capped at under 21 level for Romania. Um, a good player. He's a ball winner, defensive midfielder. He, he's got good determination, a good personality, very good mental attributes for a young lad. And, and physically, he is quite good as well. Technically, he will just improve. He is getting better as, as the season goes on. But yeah, 550k for him. And then a 275k outlay for Umar Fai, Fai, however you want to say it. Uh, he has come in from Salamanca, again in the lower leagues of Spain. I really like him. Uh, he, he's quick, he's agile, he's got great aggression, really good anticipation and composure for somebody so young. Bear in mind that they're saying he's a striker. Um, it, we are training him to play as a striker, but we did bring him on a game the other day off the right wing, and he performed quite well. Um, can, again, can play in a couple of different positions. He offers he offers us something different. Off the ball is very good. You can see what I mean. Like For a young player, 19 years of age, um, Zealand did a very good video the other day talking about like young players, and he said if you think about it, if you can improve things by three, then realistically you're going to have a good player on your hands. You think it's off the ball, if that goes up by three, amazing. Pace, be, 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 be amazing. Anticipation, you can just see what I mean. He'd be a very, very good player. I don't think he is a striker. I think if that went up by three, it'd make it 14. Stribbling wouldn't be very good. You know, it, 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 he, he could get there, but he could also fail. It was a low risk strategy, and that's why we brought him in. And then quite a few players went out, starting with uh, Latoro Valenti. I really like Latoro Valenti as a backup option. He wanted to be a starter. He was kicking off. He was on quite a high wage. He didn't want to stay. And, and 
you know what dynamics are like, especially when you're in sort of like a relegation scrap. He, he's uh, he's gone out the door, as has Alfonso Espino, meaning we were quite short for cover on the left. And then just to make matters worse, Alvaro Fernandez came to me kicking off. Um, for some reason, was quite high in the hierarchy, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because he's played for like United and Madrid, and he might have had quite a high reputation. Uh, but we sold him. The only people who wanted him were, Levan were Levante. He's gone for two and a half million. I believe there is some sort of clause involved in that. That is, it's a 20% of the profit made on the next transfer will be owed to us. So, again, if he does go and reach his potential, he was a five star potential player, then, you know, we're, we're going to get a bit of a windfall from him. And then just a couple of more out, some more fringe players. Uh, Luis Suarez has left. He's gone to Pachuca in Mexico. Uh, I did really like him, but again, he was on quite a high wage. We, we had just signed Butzke. He wasn't going to play. We let him out. Um, it, it's fine. It, it, was a, it was a beautiful love affair, Luis. A beautiful love affair. Um, we also brought back Danny Lorenzo from his loan. Uh, he was not getting the game time that he was promised. We've sent him out to uh, Fuel Embrada, and you can see he's played three games. And um, obviously, these do drop, and you know, sort of drop. They, they, they do drop and change as the season goes on. But he's gone out. Uh, we actually got a loan for Ruman. I like him. I like the look of him. I think he's going to be a good playmaker. So he's gone out on loan. Tom Hogg went to Madrid. Uh, David went to Inter San Jose, which I thought was a bit of a strange one. Jorge de Frutos, another player who come to me whinging and kicking off and moaning. £8 million, though. A straight flat up front, £8 million. You look at his value, it's 5.4 to £8 million, So I actually think we did very, very well to get a full flush £8 million in for him. And then we also loaned out Ibrahim Salah um, because we, we brought in Miguel Rodriguez. And we also brought in Amwar El Ghazi on loan from Lons. Um, he got injured brilliantly. Uh, but I actually quite like him. You think of what we look for. He, he's like 13s, 14s. He's six foot two. He can play either flank. He can play sort of behind the, the, the striker. And um, if we do change it up, he, he, he makes sense. And changing it up is something that I do think we do slightly need to do. And um, if you look at like the negatives for recent matches, we can see in a lot of goals in the penalty area. We're letting a lot of final third entries in on the left wing, which would be their left wing, meaning that it's down here got opposition goals for long range shots a lot of final third entries in central areas so i think what we need to do is we need one of these fullbacks to be on defend and the other one to be more supportive and um, i love wisdom Ame. he's a brilliant brilliant player very high jump and reach and acceleration good heading he's ba he, he is basically a center back playing at right back uh, same can be said for pacheco but uh, pacheco's got a bit more about him going forward it does say he's best as like a fullback on defend, but the fact he can pass a bit better. Uh, I'm actually going to change Ame up to a fullback on defend because we do have Estevez sort of patrolling around this area. We don't need Ame to go forward. Jota is sort of there or thereabouts in, in and around that area anyway. And obviously, Chimiti drops off, so we don't really need Ame coming forward. Uh, we have also got, you know, we still got Felipe there. It was fantastic. We still got Jackson Perrazzo, who's doing very, very well. Look at his games played. He's on a 6.76. So he's okay. Nothing amazing, but he, he's doing well for what he is. He is quite quick, so there is a temptation to stick him on cover and let him use his pace to sort of sweep in behind, give Cardain a short passion option, uh, and to sort of cover in behind for Pacheco. I'll, I'll trial it in the next match and see. Um, Pacheco... I'm happy to keep him as like a fallback on support. We do tell him to cross it more often, cross it from deep, cross aim centre, shoot less often, tackle harder. I, I, I feel like he performs well enough. I don't feel like he needs changing in any sort of way. Um, he's 6.91. He's basically a seven average rating playing out of, you know, I've trained him to be this position. I, I, I love him. I think I think we're going to keep that about. Um, Zobnin is definitely the better defensive midfielder. Uh, although Busquets are technically technically is you know better passing better tackling i think because physically he's just sort of so shot now zobnan has to play every game again zobnan did start the season at right back and you look at games played defender right back 6.89 he has played at right wing a couple of times but then his defensive midfield is 7.01 so he i think he has to stay there again you look at Busquets, uh games played 6.63 and he's played a fair few so it, it makes sense that zobnan's got to play puerta and jota are they are our best two midfielders. We do obviously have uh, Simone Bastoni, but you look at his games played, 6.57 or a 6.6. .6, you go across to Puerta. 
6.93. You go across to Jota, and Jota is sitting on a 6.79. So they are ultimately the two best players at the, at, at the club. They're the better midfield. We've actually got a very good midfield. And um, yeah, it, 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 it's. It's about changing things up, and I feel like because we are getting hit, I feel like we're getting hit on the counter, so I'm going to turn counter press off, because what I am noticing purely because they play quite high is that Puerta and Jota tend to be around here, Zobnan sort of sitting deep, and then Pacheco and Ame were quite high, and it's just allowing us to get absolutely slaughtered on the counter attack. Um, very, very, very frustrating. Uh, high pressing wise we are still pressing high but with the standard line we do just do this depending on on what we need to do whether it's step off more step up more drop off more depending on who we're playing rather than drop on the line we, we do tend to do that and if we have to we will drop the line and we are still keeping get stuck in on you will see there's a few injuries and suspensions it happens i feel like we need to be quite physical against these teams and that that's our way around things uh, and we are telling cardenas to kick the ball and direct it to the central attacker uh, the central attacker the striker see his kicking has got better he's a great goalkeeper i think his value is shocking i think that's a shocking value i think he's easily like a six seven million pound player but it is what it is Believe it or not, we've had another postponement. I was going to uh, live comp the Betis game on the 9th there. But instead, you're going to get Atletico home and away. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> Just a quick word on Claude Nkunku, who it has been in contention for a lot of games. You can see he started five, uh, came off the bench in six, played 20 non-competitive. Um, a very, very good player. He's progressing really well. Look at this. His progression chart is insane. Uh, you look at his progress attribute-wise, sort of his all-time attribute uh, progress. Why is it not clicked? Uh, attributes of all time. Couple of ones, twos, and threes. Couple of you know, a lot of green arrows up. A very, very, very competent player. Uh, I think a matter of time before he becomes a starter for us. So this is how we're going to line up against uh, Atleti in the first game. A couple of injuries, a couple of suspensions. Um, so we're going to have to, you know, work around it. Uh, Chimithi starts up front. We did want to play Butska from the off, but he's only just back from injury. So his sharpness is a bit low. So we'll let Chimithi play. Miguel Rodriguez on the left. Esther, Estevez on the right. Puerta, Uranga, Busquets, Pacheco, Nkunku, Felipe, Ame and Cardenas. So it's a derby double header. Atleti versus Vallecano, home and away. Ame, I'm quietly confident. Uh, the problem is that Ame, Felipe and Pacheco all looked aggressive, so we'll see. So, a ball forward to João Felix. And you can see, this is what I was on about in that, like, where is Busquets? And that Pacheco was, was so high up the pitch, they literally just launched the ball forward and they were, they were away. Just drop the line down to a mid block rather than the high press because uh, I feel like that they're literally just passing it around us based on 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 the stats I can see. Rodriguez to Pacheco into Puerta, back to Pacheco. Bus gets to Uranga, and Memphis to Pai gets a foot in, putting out for a corner. Oh, okay then. We're not going to see the corner. It must have been shit. Uh, I forgot to unpause it as they took that free kick but Memphis Depay has just blazed one over I've just changed it up ever so slightly I've just told Puerta to be more supportive we do have Rodriguez playing out on the left as, as like an attacking player so I don't really need Puerta sprinting forward as much as he does Ame knocks it back to Cardenas that's why I love a tall fullback I love a tall fullback on this lovely ball to Chimiti doesn't win his header Ame has come right across and he didn't need to. And Cardenas makes a great save. Corner resulting as Correa looks in. Near post, headed away by Felipe. Blocked again by Felipe. It's another corner. Hmm. Headed away by Ame. We have a here. Kicks it out of play. <laughs> They play in their four. They play the three at the back an awful lot on this save, but it looks like they've gone back to a 4 4 2 here. And we're looking along again. Lenormand heads on. 
Griezmann back to the no man's. Griezmann playing centre mid. Christ. Javi Gallan. Ah, I've turned counter press off, so why is getting pulled all over the place? Because I've not got tight marking on either. Going low block, and we're going to drop off a bit more. There's their resultant corner off the long ball, which nearly done us in behind. Heads up. It's another corner. Which we're dealing with them, but we're not getting, like, I know we are playing like a low block, but we're not getting back out at them to to sort of stop them going forward again. I, we're just not performing well in the slightest. Chimiti's lost the ball every single time he's touched it, and it's not like he's getting pressed. He's just miscontrolling it. But he's pressed Gallum there, so I'm, I'm happy with that. The Nomad, Griezmann, the Nomad, Jimenez out to Baku, Perea has skimmed Pacheco alive and got into the area and a shot across the box. Oh my god. It just keeps coming back to us. Headed away by Felipe, here's Griezmann, probably going to bag one from there. <sighs> Keeps coming back. Nothing we can do about it. And I'm not changing. I'm not changing. Again, the temptation is always there to just change it all up and go like gig and press or go this or go that. I'm not doing it. We get results when we stick to what we know. We just we've been conceding a lot of late goals recently. And if we can just turn a couple of draws into wins, we'll be absolutely fine. Yes, better, better. Go on, go on. Go on. Good pressing. Good pressing. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Felipe getting done. we oh, lads. Drop back honestly it's pressing too high up the pitch another corner head of the way by Felipe again Correa back in Depay's header saved by Cardenas again oh, we've got a bit of possession for Checo and Kunku long ball looking for Miguel He's not going to get in there, but I liked the idea because they're very exposed at the back there. <clears throat> All black to Jimenez. Back out. Puerta trying to come across to win it. Doesn't get there. Ball across. Now Jimenez. Jimenez? What am I about? Griezmann. The Nomad. Jimenez. Back out. Rodriguez with a block. Chimiti is not in this game in the slightest. As they tore that one across the box, our low block is nowhere to be seen. And it's probably going to be a goal. Yeah! Another fantastic display of a low block from Real Vallecano. Very high line for a low block. Drop off more. Leave your man in the middle. Fucking perfect. Honest to fucking God. Those um, those stats are absolutely sickening. What I've just been seeing there. And again, we're just panicking. Estevez, why are you central? Chimiti to Puerta. It's Rodriguez. He's in on goal. Rodriguez! Oh, good run, Miguel. Good run. Look at this. 17 shots, 9 on target, 2 and none. We've not laid the glove on them. We really haven't. Your rang is knackered. We've been missing some crucial interceptions, have we, do you reckon? So we're going to change it up, you know. We're going to change it up. I think we just need to get at them. I think that's how we... 
I think that is how we counteract what they're doing. We just get at them. But then defensively, I think we need to tight mark um, Marata. Felix is dropping off a little bit more. What's the assistant manager saying? Going in strong would be effective. Angel Correa closing down. Going in strong. Mark him tightly. I'm also going to press and tackle harder on Jimenez because Jimenez is, is one of them players that like he just performs well no matter what. Very frustrating. So we did make a few subs, and here's one of them with Futa. Mario, why is Mario? Why is Moray out on the right? That's not what I did. I did Moray on the left and Rodriguez on the right. There we go. Silly. Kunku was in there, and he's won a corner. It's a lot more than what we did in the first half. Seconds in to the second half. And it's a oh my god, it's not showing the corner again. Are these actually young corners? <laughs> Miguel Rodriguez hangs it off. Felipe's there! Just over the bar. Hooray with a free kick now for Atletico. It's head of the way. Puerta's onto it. Morata to Correa. Good block by Puerta. Playing well, Puerta, considering um, all things considered. They've literally ran through us all game, but uh, head of the way that time by Butska. Lenomans to Griezmann, across to Javi Galan, it's a great block. Oh, and Huta flies in, fucking hell. <laughs> and Pacheco knocks it back. This is better, this is better. I genuinely feel like we play better when we're attacking. It's very bizarre. Obviously, it's it's very high risk, but I just I think the players just seem to suit it. So we're up to the 60th minute mark. And Rodriguez, who was brought in to be like effective off that side, hasn't really hasn't really done anything. So we're gonna change it up slightly. We are gonna go with two up top here. And I'll show you what I have been doing, purely because we have got two very good strikers. Uh we're gonna put Butzka to play as like a complete forward support on this side. And we're gonna put Rodriguez up here. But we are gonna bring them off because he has performed very poorly. We're gonna bring uh, guess and on as the advanced forward and then we're going to tell uh, Huta to go wider so we want him to run wide with the ball he's going to stay a bit wider um, yeah essentially he's going to act as like that winger and getting balls into the box and we're going to take it we're going to take it I think we're going to take it let's see how it goes Lenormand I don't mind their fullbacks having the ball because they don't seem to do an awful lot with it. Good interception. Here we go. Here we go. Huta, Legessa. Oh, the no man's not. He's pulled him over. Oh, but I couldn't get in there. Oh, that was much better. Yo, for, oh, for fuck's sake, Felipe. He's retiring soon and you can see why. He just lost that edge. He's really lost an edge. He really has. Away by Felipe. Yeah, Felix, the Javi Gallant. Over the bat. Right, we've got a corner, which it's actually going to show us this time. But because head is shite. Guess and. Mm. <laughs> it's because we're on very attack and he's not got great decisions. That's why he's doing stuff like that. But yeah, I'm not happy with that. Here's Nkunku. Pacheco to More. More through to Butzka. Can he get a cross in? It's a penalty! Ref. Yes, and. Who's that? Moody King, who's I'm telling you now, attributes mean fuck all. If there's a player that suits how you want to play, get him in. Get him in. Guess I'm through. I'm Moody King, who's Composed as you like. One more, come on. Hilariously, King Hooter. King Hooter? Great name. <laughs> Have we got any more subs? We've got one sub left to make. Let's see how this corner goes. Good header away by Butska. Come 
Hit him. Hit him. It's right, lads. It's right, lads. Good pressing. Whee. So, off the bench then, we, we've not got a lot. Can't lie, we're kind of in that situation again where it's a lot of youth players. Bastoni could come in. Galindo has been performing very, very well uh, at youth level and, and looks to be like he's going to be a very good player. Uh, Al Ghazi, but we've just brought more in. I think Puerta is very tired and could probably do with coming off. Um, I can't remember if this is the defender, Ivan. It is. He's not going to come on. We've got Yakubu there as well. Um, I think it's going to be Bastoni for Puerta. I don't know. Uh, do you know what? We're not changing anything. We're not changing it. I'd... I'd I said we're going to get something out of it. I trust them to get something out of it. Let's go for it. Atleti throw in. Here's Shao Felix. Lorente. Griezmann to Maratha. He's forced backwards to riddle Abaku. We'll pressure again. Ah, oh, it's a deep run. And Cardenas does well to close it down. Good goalkeeping. Again, very high risk that we're playing at the minute. Very high risk, but it's paid off so far. Right, here's Pacheco. It's a terrible throw, but Butzko wins it back and guess and Gustavo Prat! <laughs> He's rattled the crossbar from range. Fucking hell, Gustavo. Here's Griezmann on a free kick from distance and Cardenas makes a good save. You know what? We went high risk, high reward. There wasn't a single highlight after the Griezmann free kick. Uh, you can see we got a lot of bookings as they tired towards the end. Uh, do you know what though? I, I'm not going to complain because that first half performance was absolutely atrocious. We got back in the game. We got ourselves a, a result again against Atletico. Mahmoudi <laughs> King, who's that? What a guy. I think there's definitely something in or something to be said about when we play attacking. We just seem more like, competent, I feel like, because I feel like we've got good attackers, but when we're like balanced or positive, we just let the game pass us a little bit. Maybe it's not as quick. Maybe we're not sort of putting in the performances we should do. Um, for the away game, I may just attack from the off and just see how we get on from there. So here's how we're going to line up for the away leg. Uh, we are going to give a start to Mario More out on the left. Jackson is back in and we are going to play him as a cover. And uh, Zobnan's come back in after his suspension. Ame and Pacheco. I'm going to drop Pacheco back down to defend. But we're going to try next match only and we're going to go attacking. Um, in terms of, of where the ball is getting distributed to, I'm going to tell Cardenas to distribute to the flanks and just let Mori and Estevez have a little bit more look at that first 11, a lot of fitness tests, a lot of people who, who shouldn't be in around. Why is guess hand in there? Uh, Chimiti will start. He's basically got 45 um, uh, and then Butska will be coming on. But yeah, let's see, let's see how we go with an attacker mentality from the off. So kick off then. Atleti start the game. And start us off very, 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 very quickly, as they tend to do. I've got a feeling they're just going to come out and absolutely trounce us. Um, based on the fact that we managed to get back into the game against them, I don't think they'd be very happy about that. Jackson, mate, come on. Lamar with the free kick. This would be a disastrous start. It is a disastrous start. Well done, lads. Oh, hang on. They're going to check an offside. I didn't see one. And there wasn't one. It doesn't surprise me. I really I really thought regardless of if we start attacking or defensive or positive or, or passive um, that they were literally just going to come and try and blow us out the water here. So I'm not really anticipating anything here. Goal kick which Cardenas will loft forward. Head of the way. Jackson's there. Poor from Jackson. Really poor from Jackson. Fuck me. We've broke my cardinal rule again. But we're, we're pressing very high again now. We've gone high press, higher defensive line. Um, 
and getting stuck in. Mukiele to back. Mukiele through. Good block. Sobner, and that is a silly pass, mate. But it's not long for Chimiti. He just heads it to no one. He had, he had King next to him. King Peter. Where does Mr. Heather? Here's Memphis to pie. Running through. Jackson trying to cover back across. Yes, Jackson. Morey. Come on, son. You can make things happen. Morey through. Chimiti's in. Use him, Chimiti. Oh, he's blasted it, lad. I don't know to keep a safe, though. What a save. Mario Morey. Away from home in the Derby to Atleti. 7.0. He's going to be some player in this save. Here's Gustavo Puerta with a free kick. He's right up the bar. Memphis gets it away for a throw in. <sighs> it's definitely... I, I don't know whether it is literally just the high press and obviously FM being FM with if you press high, you win games. Um, I don't think we've got the personnel to necessarily do that, but it seems to be working. Um, Chimiti and Goncalo Estevez are just not providing anything in the attacking the attacking third. So I may make that change where we go for the two again. Here's Tamar Lamar swings it in, headed away. Correa closed down, ball across the box, cleared by Felipe, and Ame gets it out for the throw in. Gallant, Griezmann, one back by Zobnin. Chimiti, he's not in the game again, is he? He's really not in the game at all, Yusuf Chimiti. Doing an offside there. Cardenas has come a long, 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 long way. I actually think Ame dropped too deep there. Ame was top of the box there. I think he dropped too deep. I think he's on. Yeah, Ame's dropped deep, hasn't he? Let's just see it. Played through. Yeah, Ame. Far too deep. I think we may be done already. There's a, there's a lot of tired players. There's a lot of poor performances. We've not got much on the bench. Um, yeah, I, I think, oddly enough, I think we're more done in this game than we were in the previous game. Oh, no, he hasn't. He hasn't. Estevez, you prick. Oh, you fucking idiot. Well, I mean, we may as well just making the subs we were going to make now then. Um, fuck me. Tired, tired, tired legs all over the park. And Kunku's going to have to come on. Huta is done already. Uh, I'm going to have to bring Bastone on there, even though he's left-footed. Um, Puerta in support. Moray's played well. Chimiti's been awful. We're going to bring Butska on. Ami really let me down playing so deep there but what we need now is we need like a support and wing back it's not a role that Ami can play it's a role that Estevez could play and apparently Unkunku can do but we've not got anybody else out there we've got Joaquin Calvo who's like a defensive winger um, he's got good tackling I might throw him in should we do that? Can we put Ami at centre back? Oh god, I'm doing it. Um, Butska out on the right there. I think yeah, he needs to hold it up as and when he gets it. We have got Rodriguez. He can come in. Well, I think it's game anyway. So the resultant free kick. Second half on the way. There's no one there, mate. They're fucking in, aren't they? They're in behind the camera. Yeah, Cardenas has had to make a save. Zoblin's not performed well either. The bus gets on. Why is he kicking it? I know I've told him to do the flanks, but you tell him to do the forwards and he doesn't do it. You tell him to do the flanks and he kicks it to the smallest one. Oh my way, Bastoni. Oh my way, Bastoni. 
<laughs> He's throwing challenges in. But it's good with good pressure. Forces him back to our black. Now oh, Javi Gallon. Oh my days. Another ball over the top. Oh, what a ball, Murray. Unlucky. What's that? To Bastoni. <laughs> right foot of Bastoni. Left foot of Bastoni. So I'm going to change it, I think. What can we do? What can we do? Puerta is the Metala. Got one sub left. You know what? You know what? You know what we're gonna do? I think Calvo was just a silly sub, really, wasn't it? That was very silly of me. Calvo off. Guess hand on. Advance four. No, it says I've got one left! It says I've got a sub left! Bastoni, first thing to do in his centre midfield role is to lose the ball as a ball is knocked into the channel for Lamar and Griezmann and he's tracked it wide. Right, we have changed it up. We've put Pacheco into the middle to go to a back three and Calvo's, there you go, Calvo's now actually going to operate as an out-and-out -out winger. As the referees give a foul against Amit, really? And a book and they're going to score off this highlight, aren't they? The fact they've highlighted that as like a key part of the highlights. Now we've got it away. Can Butzka hold it? He's flicked it on. There's no one around him. Puerta's battling. Well done. Butzka's lost it. Come on, lad. Need you to do more. Right. Nukia, okay, like tobacco. <laughs> Now my head's on. Calvo's nowhere near it. I think ultimately, if you had offered me a point out of the two games, I'd have to take it. It's it's back to back against Atletico Madrid. And um, Pacheco's nowhere near it. And Memphis misses a sitter. Another highlight for Atletico Madrid. Lamar slips it through. Memphis to pie scores. by Moray. Ah, Butzka's intercepted as well. Unlucky. Calvo's just not even like attempting to help out in defence. Bastoni is hitting a 6.4 since coming off the bench. Um, if I did have another sub, I genuinely would take him off for that. I think coming off the bench, there's no excuse for that. It's really, really poor. And, and that is that is one position I think we need to look into a bit more. Uh, defensive midfield-wise, I'm, I'm okay with the cover. We've got Busquets and we've got Zobnan. Central midfield, we're lacking. I think if we lose one of Puerta or Jota, I genuinely think the team struggles to, to create anything. They struggle to get anything going. They struggle to re regain any sort of control of the game. Um, so that's definitely something we need to look at. Um, the tactical style, I've, I've said, and I said again at the beginning of this video, I don't really want to change it. Um, but, oh, it's unlucky. Logic might have to take over. We may have to change something whether we change formation try and use the fact we've got a couple of good forwards um whether we pack out the middle more and we drop the wingers i don't know it's just it's just ultimately frustrating because it, i mean we did really 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 well to get a point in the last game um good tackle butzka i do like him butzka more that's a silly effort really isn't it lad be your last, I think. Head of the way by Busquets. 
And there it is. There's your final whistle. Um, ultimately, they're their better team. Um, I'm not happy with the performance. I'm not happy with the amount of yellows. I feel like we just turned into a bit of a, oh, fine, whatever, you fool. This assistant manager needs to go. He does this quite often. Um, yeah, I feel as though the performance was, was really, really poor. It's like next level poor. That red card for Estevez is silly. Um, yeah. I think going forward, something does need to change. Otherwise, we're just going to be like the perennial mid-table to the sort of lower half team. And I don't really want that because we're going into third season. You know, I think by the time the next video is out, we will be third season. Um, we don't want to just sort of hover around that. So, I, I mean, 26 points. We're still five points above Alaves in the relegation zone. Um, the goal difference is dropped significantly to what it was. Mm, yeah, disaster result. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. The performance was just not there for a, a derby match. Yeah, not not a good one. Let's say not a good one at all. Um, but that's your lot. Uh, thank you very much for watching. One good result. One disastrous result. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, things need to change. I'm going to have to tinker in the background. Um, but thank you very much for watching. This has been Ringo FM. That was episode 12 of the Eyes Test. Uh, thank you for coming along once again, and we'll see you all next time.